The average if function is very similar to the sum if function, and their setup is almost identical. The big difference is an average if function averages instead of sums. So let's say that instead of our manager wanting the total amount of sales for the product hot dog, they wanted an average of sales for the product hot dog across their regions. So this would be a good example where we would use an average if function. So let's see what an average if function looks like in Excel. Just like it, the sum if function, it has three parts to it. The range, the criteria, and the sum. But instead of having sum if on the front of it, we would write average if. So we would write the equal sign, average if, then our range that we're searching for, the criteria we're searching for, and the range where the amounts will be located. So in this case, if this were my average if function, we would be basically saying that within the range B2 to B5, I am looking for the criteria hot dog, the word hot dog. And when I find it, I will collect the amount in the range C2 to C5, and then average those amounts when I'm finished. And that would tell me the average amount for the product hot dog. So let's take a look at what this would look like in Excel itself. So we're back to Excel with an Excel spreadsheet just like the, the table we were looking at previously. And if we were to create an average if function, we would start with our equal sign, write the name of our function, average if, open our parentheses, and choose the range where we would find the search criteria hot dog, which again is B2 to B5. Comma, put in my criteria, the word hot dog, again in quotation marks, because all text needs to be in quotation marks in Excel to tell it that it's a text that we're searching for. Comma, and then the range that we will be averaging once we find hot dog, which is our amounts, which are found in C2 to C5. Close our parentheses, and when we hit enter, we get an average of 38.5, which is the average of the two hot dog amounts, 36 and 41. So that's how you would create an average function, or an average if function, uh, inside of Excel.